Welcome to The Collegian Report, a newscast produced by students in broadcast reporting and The Collegian. I'm Claire Schollerman. Both SDSU basketball teams are in the top seed for Summit League tournament starting this weekend. The men's team is the top seed for the seventh time and won't play until the quarterfinals at 6 p.m. on Saturday. They'll face the winner of Oral Roberts and USD game. The women's team is the top seed for the fourth season in a row, ending conference play undefeated. They play the winner of Kansas City at Omaha on Saturday, March 9th at 3 p.m. Both tournaments are at the Denny Sanford Premier Center in Sioux Falls. You can also watch a Midco Sports or Midco Sports Plus. The Jacks made an impression at the NFL Combine last weekend. Isaiah Davis, Mason McCormick, and Garrett Greenfield set a record for the most SDSU players in the Combine. Greenfield set a lineman NFL Combine record of 38 and a half inches in the vertical jump. He finished with a total score of 73. McCormick and a USC tackle tied for the longest broad jump. McCormick finished with a 93 athleticism score, the highest of any guard. Davis had the highest prospect grade of all the SDSU Combine players at 6.14, the 12th highest among backs. Davis also benched 225 pounds 23 times, coming in fifth of all running backs. The NFL Draft takes place in Detroit, Michigan this year with the first round on Thursday, April 26th. The Jack Rabbit Memorial Jackpot Show was this past weekend at the Dakota Bank Center. Head Chairman Caden Nelson said the stock show brought in over 200 showmen from around the Midwest, beating the 150 that attended last year. It's a really great opportunity for families that, uh, to get out and show their cattle early on in the year. Um, we just see a lot of benefit in them coming to the show. They see good results typically and they enjoy coming out to the show. I mean, it was a beautiful weekend to have the show this weekend. Um, so, you know, just coming out, getting their cattle out, getting used to the show world. The show is hosted by Block and Bridle and Alpha Gamma Rho, two clubs within the College of Agricultural Food and Environmental Sciences. Both clubs work many hours finding volunteers to organize the event. Block and Bridle and Alpha Gamma Rho have been working every year to expand the show and increase participation. Be sure to check out KSDJ, our student-run radio station. During spring break, you can listen on 90.7 FM and on the TuneIn app. Programming over spring break may change due to the Summit League Tournament. Otherwise, you can catch Democracy Now! every day at noon and 6 p.m. The School of Communication and Journalism podcast, Coffee with Kojo, airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 and 5 p.m. The Acoustic Cafe airs every Wednesday at 7 p.m. DJ Jack McCarty's show can be heard every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. And DJ Matt Weberdink's show airs every Friday at 5 p.m. If you have not picked up this week's edition of The Collegian, here's what you're missing. It looks like we will not be seeing electric scooters on campus anytime soon, and for several reasons. The Brookings Regional Humane Society is struggling as it cares for animals from three hoarding cases. And Brookings is one step closer to getting pickleball courts. Be sure to grab a copy of The Collegian before spring break or read the stories at sdsucollegian.com. That's all for The Collegian Report this week. Have a good spring break.